Welcome back to Television A7. Let's jump into it. First topic I want to get into. Kelly Rowland checks a security guard at the Cannes Film Festival. I'm sure you all have seen this by now. Kelly was going up the stairs. She was doing the red carpet. And as she was making her way up, she got into it with the security guard because she was doing a little too much. So let's get into this footage. <laughs> Baby Kelly was over it, but you could see as she's walking up the stairs, she's walking up the stairs, she's looking around she stopped for one second to turn around and wave like that's not enough to be having you know what i'm saying being rushed okay she stood she waved and you could see she was getting ready to go then the security stepped on a dress she says okay my bad then she said the security says something else now this is when kelly started to pop off because she tried to give the lady some grace and then the other two security people had to you know come in and get it together real quick because it's like no what are you doing so this is kelly's response about everything that went on the the woman knows what happened i know what happened and um i have a boundary and i stand by those boundaries and that is it and there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded or pushed off or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. So that was what Kelly had to say. Look, she was going up the red carpet. There was other women who looked, uh, who did not look like her, who weren't, um, you know, scolded or pushed off, as she said. And she had to to stand her ground and let the security know like hey don't talk to me like that don't you know overstep your boundaries so let me know what you guys think about uh kelly Rowland um doing that to the security guard but one thing about kelly she's not confrontational like that she's super cool calm collected so for her to go off like that she really got ticked off she really got ticked off um some of the people in the comments saying why it looked like she fighting back tears we on your side kelly Oh, she looks like she could have shed a tear. The way we get treated, even when we're sitting in the same room, is quote-unquote them. is so sad. We're riding at dawn, y'all. We don't play about Kelly. So a lot of people in the comment section, they're Team Kelly. But there are a couple people who's, who think like, well, you know, it's kind. She was standing on the steps too long. Everything is not about race, da 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 da, da. So let me know what you guys think about it. But the majority um of the feedback from the comments online are in support of kelly but the next thing i want to get into is sean kingston and all the drama that he's been in and he didn't got his mama all wrapped up in the drama so uh sean kingston's place his house was raided and it's his mom was uh arrested and this is all because of an alleged merchandise scam where he reportedly uses his celebrity status to get, um, you know, get things fronted to him and then not paying, paying things back, paying things off. So, and shout out to the neighborhood talk. That's where um, I'm getting all this from. His 61 year old mom was taken into custody and sean kingston lives down here in um in south florida 
he lives down here where I am in South Florida. So this was all over our local news as well. Um, Sean Kingston's mother is locked the hell up after his house was raided for a merchandise scam. The raid happened because Kingston didn't make good on finishing his payments for items he received on advance. His 61-year-old mom was taken into custody during the raid on numerous fraud and theft charges. An attorney for those suing Kingston said this is what he does all the time. Quote, he likes having bling. He likes showing off. He's a showman. Attorney Dennis Card said, my client has a $150,000 television sound system that's in there. There's also about $1 million worth of watches that are in there. There's a $80,000 custom bed that was ordered. This is an organized systematic fraud. He's got basically a script. He says that he works with Justin Bieber and that he obviously puts on a big show here. This is a rental house. He doesn't own it. And he lures people using his celebrity into having them release things without him paying for it. And then he simply never pays. Card said he's 100% a scammer. He's on felony probation right now. For trafficking and stolen property, he's got judgments against him for procuring more than $1 million in watches without paying for them, Card said. This is just an ongoing pattern for Sean. I don't know what Sean, what single Sean Kingston has. He's most known for the single Beautiful Girls and um, Shardy, I'ma Take You There, something like that, a long time ago. I don't know what else he's done since then. But Sean Kingston, you wildin'. You got your mama all caught up in this stuff. And it's just crazy. Like, if just just pay for it. If you got it like that, you know what I'm saying? Just pay for it. Like, this is ridiculous. And apparently, allegedly, you're currently on probation for other things. So it's only a matter of time before they get to you and they get you in them cuffs too just like your mom but he should be really embarrassed but he did put out um something on his instagram stories and he said people love negative energy i'm good and so is my mother my lawyers are handling everything as we speak all right sean um so Let's get into some of these comments. Um, they're saying, you've been going through this for years, bro. Seek help. If my son gets me arrested, I'm going to go back to jail for hurting him. LMAO, not lock the hell up. They so petty. I was in Tallahassee FCI with her in 2012. Can't trust what he say. His house got raided today. You're way too beautiful, girl. <laughs> we love negative energy as much as he loved expensive jewelry he didn't pay for. Ooh, he always owes somebody. Look, it's not looking good for you, Sean. It's not. Get it together. Um, last story I want to get into. Um, Cassie, she has come out and uh, released a statement, of course, after the video that's gone worldwide. We've seen it, her and Diddy. She just put out um, a note, a letter, thanking everyone for the support. She says, thank you for all the love and support from my family, friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now. But this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Thank you to everyone that has taken the time to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you were powerless in. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending. But this support means everything to me. Thank you, love always, Cassie. So maybe one thing about Cassie, she definitely opened up Pandora's box. And this is just the beginning. So many people are, are coming out left and right. There was a um, a story i heard about uh shaka khan's daughter came out 
and and spoke and she has a diddy story of her own saying that apparently diddy got up in uh shaka khan's face yelling and screaming at her and when her brother tried to jump in this um their security uh his security jumped him so shaka khan's daughter is basically in a nutshell she's enjoying the downfall of diddy so then we have the other uh alleged victim i'm gonna just say uh, alleged because it's all ongoing but claims that diddy assaulted her back in 2003 the the white model so it's like one thing after another and um yeah it's just a lot going on but shout out to cassie for having the courage and she just wants to show love to everybody who's been in support of her so that's what i wanted to talk about on this video just a few topics floating around thank y'all for watching television 87 if y'all want to check out more of my content there's a video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one